imagine that we have two valves valve a and valve b now here the valve a has a capacity of 10 gpm while valve b has a capacity of 5 gpm now which valve has a higher flow capacity if the answer to it is that valve a has a higher flow capacity then the answer is not correct why in order to understand this concept we must have a very thorough understanding of what is cv in a control valve this concept is extremely important while dealing with control valves in this video in a very logical way we'll learn so that you can remember whether it's an interview or when you're preparing data sheet of what is cv in a control valve so without further delay let's get into it the first thing is that whether you have a temperature control valve, pressure, level of flow control valve, actually they are nothing but a simple control valve which has only one basic function which is to control the flow within the valve. Now how does CV help in that is in the most simple terms we can say that CV is nothing but a tool so that you can compare flow capacity from any valve throughout the world but let us dig into this concept in such a way that we'll remember this concept forever as we had initially discussed imagine that for valve a and for valve b we have a different flow rate valve a has a flow rate of 10 gpm and valve b has a flow rate of 5 gpm here as we had said we cannot say that this means that valve a has the higher flow capacity why because there could be the case that both the valves are made of the exact same construction same size but the pressure drop across the first valve is 15 psi while the pressure drop across the second valve is just 1 psi so we know Know that as you increase the pressure drop across the valve the flow through the valve increases so this flow increases just because of pressure drop and not because of the valve size so here if we want to compare two valves flow capacity we have to keep them under the same pressure so let us take a standard of 1 psi as pressure between the two valves again now what I do is I'll measure the flow between the two valves but here I see the flow between the first valve was 10 gpm and the flow with the second valve was 4 gpm why there could be the case that for the first valve the fluid was water and for the other valve the fluid was honey now we all know in such cases that honey is very dense so it will have a lower flow rate as compared to water so even though the valves are made of same construction we have to also ensure that the liquid between them is the same if we want to compare the flow capacity between two walls so let us select water because water is one of the most available substance and very easy to be found at any site or at any vendor location now let's keep water for both the valves i've kept the same pressure drop i have kept the same liquid ideally i should get the flow rate to be same but for this valve i get 10 gpm as the flow rate and for this valve which is valve p i'm getting 12 gpm now what is the issue here there's another parameter which comes into play which is the temperature so both water being the same fluid might have different temperatures so first maybe at 60 degree fahrenheit and the other one might be at 150 degree fahrenheit so we know as the temperature increases there's again a difference in flow rate so we will have to maintain a constant temperature as well so we will select 60 degree fahrenheit a lot of people ask that in cv definition why 60 degree fahrenheit is specially taken the answer is because the specific gravity of water is 1 at 60 degree fahrenheit so this will help greatly when we are doing cv calculations so we'll have three standard parameters which is the psi drop is 1 psi the water is the fluid which is taken and the temperature is 60 degree fahrenheit that being the case we can say the definition of cv is as follows cv is the number of us gallons of water that can flow through a valve with one psi pressure drop at 60 degree fahrenheit for one minute so this is the definition of cv also i want to share one more thing that i produce a new video every saturday so if you want to learn something new every saturday Please click on the bell icon and subscribe so that you can learn a new video. 